Hey, this is Steve John. Welcome to day two. Guess what? You already have one day down and you're on day two. It probably was hard. You probably had some headaches, but don't worry. This is a temporary pain that will get you through your greater purpose and your greater plan to get through this 21 day fast. I want to encourage you. Keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. We're on day two. Let me read you the devotional. During this fast, build an altar and lay a sacrifice on it that honors God. It will cost you your convenience, your comfort, and it will also take some serious willpower and commitment. What will your sacrifice be during this fast? Make sure it's a sacrifice and that it will cost you something. Make your commitment in writing and share with a friend who will hold you accountable to your commitment. Pray for God to show you what he wants you to sacrifice. Like I said before, if this fast that you're doing, if it doesn't mean anything to you, if maybe you're just trying to do away with sodas for 21 days, and if it doesn't really seem that big of a sacrifice for you, or maybe you never eat breakfast and you're fasting breakfast for the next 21 days, and it's not really a sacrifice for you, whatever it may be, if it doesn't mean anything to you, it probably won't mean anything to God. And, I, and just like the devotional encouraged us to do, write down what you're fasting and, and give it to someone, an accountability partner, so that way they can hold you accountable. You know, recently me and my wife, we signed up for a fitness program and uh, we were both trying to get back into shape. And, and once we got into the habit and routine, you know, with the everyday stresses of life and just not, want, not wanting to wake up early, you know, either me or my wife, we would probably try to want to sleep in, but either one of us would encourage, hey, we signed up for this program, we got to get up. And normally it's more my wife encouraging me because I'm the one that wants to sleep in. But she would always encourage me, hey, get up, let's go, let's do this. You know, we're, we're, we're signed up, we're committed to this program, let's get to it. And guess what? When I'm done with the workout, I feel so much more accomplished. And I'm kind of glad that my wife kind of kept me accountable and pushed me to get to that workout. Well, just like that, I want to push you to continue doing your fast. Don't let the enemy whisper your ear saying that's too hard, it's too difficult, whatever it may be. You can do this because the Bible promises that you can do all things to Christ who strengthens you. So I want to encourage you to continue going and connect with me online through any of my social media accounts. I want to pray with you. I want to believe with you and know that if God is for you, who could be against you? We're in this together and I'm going to see you tomorrow right here at 7 a.m.